What is up guys? I'm HM Plays and welcome to this review of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now if you like this video, go check out my other stuff. I've got a Last of Us 2 review, got a full let's play of that game as well, as well as a let's play of the first Last of Us. Currently I'm on a Spider-Man gameplay and that shit is it's good, it's really good. As always, you know, drop a like, subscribe, comment i love to hear what people think about other games i love discussing different games with people it's you know that's why we're here but mainly this video is all about assassin's creed valhalla it's the latest installment in the assassin's creed franchise and i personally think that ubisoft need to make some big big changes in the future of this series or potentially just scrap it altogether. we'll get into that later first let's start with what's good now this is a short list of what's actually good uh, and I'm kind of pushing it out here anyway that it's this isn't even something spectacular. The graphics are pretty good. <laughs> I have to say pretty good because you know the scenery looks great when you're not up close. You know we're looking at the peaks of Norway or sailing along the rivers in England you know they look good but when you get in a bit closer you start seeing little details and it's just they've got water that looks like it's from Battlefield 4 which came out what 2013 or something ridiculous the fire graphics are diabolical they just look terrible it doesn't even look like fire I saw a video comparing where the fire spreads in this game to Red Dead 2 and they were like yes and whilst it spreads it looks like shit and half the time it will spread invisibly. Break something that's uh, flammable or you'll ch you know, you chuck a, a torch onto one of the houses and it starts getting blackened before like the fire is even there. It's just, it's just not good enough, man. <laughs> it's savage to say, but that kind of sums up the rest of the game. Everything is just meh just feels so kind of half ass. it genuinely plays like a game where the developers just got bored and they just stopped really caring and I think the main point that is severely missed is that it was it's pushed by reviewers and by other people to be an RPG but it falls so far short of that it's so it, <laughs> there's no choice you, you you can't choose to be a you know an archer or a stealth geezer. Basically, Ivar is just able to use whatever weapon he or she likes, as well as any bow, and also they can just stealth about like they're Batman. Like, it just makes no sense. There's no RPG element there. You can't mainline one thing, and the fact that I can choose a spear or dual, dual wield axes doesn't make any difference because they both play the same. Ivar is just an expert at everything regardless. So speaking of that combat, it's good at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Basically feels like they just started dumping different enemy types on you to make it feel like the combat is varied. But to be honest, you can just hack and slash most of them. And they don't build up to these new enemies either. In my Spider-Man Let's Play, I was facing off against one of these big brute type enemies, standard enemy for the game. But they gave him an intro, they gave him a bit of a build up, they get the tension going, they make it, oh this is a different person, he's not going to play the same, you've got to be different. Whereas in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it was just kind of like, ooh, here's an enemy, ooh, here's an enemy, ooh, here's an enemy, I mean, it, it doesn't matter who they are, most of the time, the only difference is you'll be dodging rather than parrying that's all that the difference is really like it, it's mental that that's that's what it is and it's mental that they've taken the kind of character out of the enemies they are just grunts all of them really and like i said before as well with the weapons there's no real choice to them dual axes do play a little bit differently to say a giant two-handed sword but it's not enough that i really enjoyed using a variety of weapons in the end i just sort of shield and axed it the whole time using a, a spear gives you a little bit more range but most of the time you're in it doesn't matter you're in close you're just hacking and slashing whether i've got a dagger my fists two shields it just doesn't it doesn't make any difference really enemies die in pretty much the same time i didn't notice too much difference in stun effects it was just a it, 
again, it's just half assed. It's just it just feels like they wanted some different animations in there, but they didn't actually change up how the game plays. It's not like in Skyrim where a two handed sword plays completely differently to if you're using a one handed sword. Yeah, you are just spamming the same button over and over, but you've got way more reach. It feels heavier, it feels slower. You can't block as quick. It's just, I don't know, it just feels so dull in this game. It just feels like it is literally just that, a different animation. And I'm a sucker for a good animation. Like I'm saying, Spider-Man, give me mental takedowns and stuff, and I love it. Give me Last of Us 2, those kind of takedowns, all about that shit. But not this. This is just, doesn't feel like anything's happening. It feels like I'm just slicing through butter half the time. One of the bigger bullshit parts is that you can't one hand a sword unless you're dual wielding two two handed swords. Which is really weird because half the enemies are sword and shield, but you can't use a sword and shield yourself. Like, where's that? Where, where's that kind of consistency? Really weird. Another part of this kind of RPG shithousery that they've just missed is that the armor sets as well, like the weapons, barely do much. I, I won't lie, occasionally, yes, it helps if I was being a bit more stealthy, but most of the time you could wear whatever the hell you want and get the same end result. You know, if I'm raiding a town, I'm raiding a town, and it doesn't matter what, what I'm wearing. I could be wearing the stealth outfit, still do well as if I'm wearing the tank outfit which you can't tell which is a stealth and which is a tank outfit because they don't even really look the different they they're all pretty similar looking they're all pretty heavy though like, they, they, they just missed it and what I think about when I play this is I think back to Assassin's Creed Unity now that game was far from perfect but they got they were on track with that RPG element. Gear did actually affect stuff. I remember trying to be a sniper with a musket, but wearing the, the armor that gave me the most damage resistance. I ended up being shit because you don't get any bonuses to reload time or range or anything. So the musket was useless. I was just a, a waste of a, a, a player. You actually had to forfeit stuff to get benefits that you could actually witness in the game. You actually saw them happening in game. You know, being a tank meant stealth was dog shit. But in Valhalla, I just chucked on whatever I wanted and I was fine. I could wear... I basically just wore what I thought looked best and that was it. The stats just seemed to do so little. They didn't really affect the playstyles either because there aren't really many playstyles. Like I said, I was an expert in everything. So if I wanted to go about as a stealthy character the whole time, that doesn't really work because I'll just get chucked into a mission where I'm raiding a giant town and my stealth has gone out the window. I guess they've covered that by making it so that I can just do anything. We'll move on to the story before I believe really have a hernia about the gameplay. But for me, the story, it was just too long. I don't even remember much of it. Not much of it even made an, an impression. You know, half the time, clunky cutscene animations made me lose interest. Watching a cutscene where characters look like they're on rails or where their mouths aren't opening as they speak. It just broke the story. That or the story was just it was just all over the shop really. Making alliances with different geezers and I didn't really know what was happening with them. And it felt a bit out of character these alliances as well, seeing as for pretty much the whole of the start of the game, these Vikings are talking about not wanting to be ruled, ruling everything, being kings of the world. And then they just go about helping the other folk. And, you know, I'd be fine with it if they weren't chatting about ruling the world. But then my next mission is being a bitch boy errand for a, a, some other leader. It's like, are we rivals or are we not? Like, surely my men the mentality is that we're going to be rivals. So why am I just being a little bitch and helping them out with everything? It just doesn't make any sense. There was also this whole section that was set in Asgard where you play as Odin, I think. I couldn't really be... I, di I, I didn't get it. I didn't understand why I was in the game. The bit that got me with it was, and I, I pretty much stopped playing it at that point because it was chucked into it with no exposition. You do a mission for this lady, you take some, that are clearly mental drugs because the Vikings did all like the hallucinogenic stuff. 
you basically just chucked into being you're Odin, but you don't look like Odin. You look like Ivor. You know everything that's going. So like, am I? If is Ivor reliving this, or is Ivor experiencing it for the first time? Because it didn't fucking feel like Ivor was experiencing it for the first time. It felt like Ivor had been this geezer the whole time. It just felt so forced on me. Like I just had no idea what was going on, no exposition, nothing. Like. I, I'm all for trippy stuff. If you want to do trippy shit, do trippy shit. Like Assassin's Creed, especially with Vikings, you've got the you've got the the stories there. You look at God of War and stuff with their Norse mythology. Make make it trippy if you want. I'm happy with that. But don't just make it like oh, bang, you're in here now. Everything makes sense. You it will make. It, we're not going to explain anything. We're not going to make it make sense to you. I've always happy with it. Just deal. Also, you're not going to find much in terms of exposition along the way. You're just basically going to be reliving it, but not reliving it. I don't know. It's just fucked up. It just didn't make any any sense. But for me, the most important part that was lost in this game was the assassins part of Assassin's Creed. What happened? There was there was nothing. There was no assassination bits. The bits that were there, the assassination parts that were there, lacked any of the charm that Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, even at some points, Black Flag in Rogue. Like, there was no charm to the assassinations. I felt like most of the time it was just because we needed that person dead for a raid we're about to do or because we'd raided a town and that person had escaped so let's just go and assassinate him on our own it's like where's the where's the sneaking in where's the murdering a king and then disappearing into the shadows and not taking any fame for it or anything now you just occasionally go about and you occasionally you kill someone but most of the time you just raid and fight and you hit some geezer with an axe and then you return home and they'll maybe be like oh yeah by the way you've just got to go kill this guy but there's no assassins kind of tension there there's no kind of this shadow war that's being played out behind the scenes of from the other games in this it's just like some bloke who's from the hidden ones aka the assassins just goes oh yeah so there's this secret order you've got to kill him and Ivor just goes okay and it just so happens that the people that she or he has to kill are the people that she was going to kill anyway. So it's kind of like a moot point really. Very disappointed with that. They're very disappointed. Savagely. This game just feels like it was the most can't be a bothered RPG game that I've played for a while. And definitely it was the most can't be bothered Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft have got to make some changes. Because this format they've got just isn't good enough anymore. With Origins I was actually alright. I liked going about Egypt I liked because they they maintained that behind the scenes element that this is all going on behind the scenes of the big world events influencing the world events but not massively out in the front you know what's his name Bayek from Origins he isn't he isn't in the history books he isn't remembered but in this it feels like Ivar should be remembered seeing as you end up leading the Raven clan and t- conquering pits of Britain and stuff it's like well what's going on there why is why is she out of the history books, you know? Like, what's going on? So, to me, yeah, the franchise needs to return to the shadowy assassin thing, or it needs to it needs to ch- stop. It needs to end. They've got to kill it off. And it's really annoying because there is a massive gap in the market for a mental Viking RPG with like raiding, trading, politics, exploring. But Assassin's Creed Valhalla <laughs> falls short of that, and it falls short of its Assassin's Creedness. So it's just like the worst of both worlds. We ain't got the best of both worlds here. We got the worst of both worlds. Little bits as well. Like I can raid a village and burn down a monastery. But by God. If I kill an innocent person. Damn. It's not happy about that. At all. The the, the whole thing just doesn't feel Viking-y enough to me. For a Viking game. You know. Let me butcher a whole town if I want to. I Let me raid peasant folk. Steal their stuff. Burn their village down. Kill them all. Instead, Ubisoft just went for this weird, well, the assassins never kill people before. So, instead, go to their towns, burn their homes down, steal all their food and treasures, but don't, don't kill them. 
I mean, not that that stuff's gonna... That stuff, just ignore the fact that all of that stuff is gonna kill them anyway. No, 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 no. Don't, just... Steal all their stuff, burn the houses down, but don't hit them with an axe. Don't kill them, because that's that, you're, that makes you a very, very bad person. It just... <laughs> it makes no fucking sense, man. It just makes no sense at all, and it that killed the Viking kind of vibe for me. Um, and the the lack of an assassin's vibe killed that as well. And I was clinging to something, but the only thing that was left was a very very poor RPG element that just <laughs> didn't do anything really. So yeah, basically Ubisoft need to make some big old changes to the Assassin's Creed franchise, or just sack it off and start with something new. Anyway, let me know what y'all thought of this game uh, in the comments. Did you like it? Did you think it was worth it? I know I am not happy with the game. I think it's a big old waste of time, especially seeing as how bloody long it is. So my recommendation, steer clear. Wait until something different comes along. Pick up a different game. Spider-Man, on if you've got a PS5, or get Spider-Man. Don't know what you got if you're Xbox next gen. Probably tears, just cry. I don't fucking know. Get a PS5 instead. <laughs> but yeah, flop on my Last of Us 2 review. Comment on that. Comment on this. I like seeing different people's opinions on games. Maybe you'll change my view. Maybe I'll change yours. Who knows? Check out my Let's Plays as well. Check out some Man Eater stuff I've been doing because that game is jokes absolutely hilarious and yeah subscribe as well you won't miss anything else you won't miss my other let's plays my other reviews yeah see y'all in whatever comes next Three.